actually getting ready to throw down y'all y'all see that i already had started and i was like you know what let me turn on the camera so that i can show them exactly how i prep my ham so what i do is you guys but before i start this video to show you all how to actually cook your ham make it smoky and, and sweet and good with some cinnamon spice uh with some pineapples Yes, but before I start, y'all make sure y'all hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time your girl upload a video. It's free, and it don't cost you nothing, family. Hit that bell down below. Make sure you subscribe. Become a part of the greatness family. All right, family? So first, what I did was I didn't show you all that one, um, the first step, but I can talk you through it because I was in here just jamming listening to my music and in the christmas spirit so what i did first i took my ham i cut it out of the bag and i washed it very good so this is a pretty good big ham you guys so i washed it really good with some cold water and then i made sure that i um put my glaze over it uh, with sugar I put my brown sugar I covered it with brown sugar I took my time and baste it with this brown sugar and then um, what I did when I baste it with the brown sugar I took some pineapples can of pineapples the real pineapples yes I already opened the can and I took my, let me back back some. I took some toothpicks and I took the toothpicks. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Because I need to put another one on there. So I'm going to show it to you guys. So you open the can. Put it right here so you can see it. And then you take two toothpicks from out of here. Get you some toothpicks. You can get the, um, toothpicks that you cook with and you will find those in the cooking um cooking aisle so where you get your aluminum foil um your your uh plastic tug wares and things like that so what i did was i took two of the pine uh two of the sticks of the toothpicks and i would take one out like this It's very slippery, y'all, so you don't want to... You got to be very careful because you don't want to rip your um, pineapples. And some of them I had to um, take out because it was hard to come out the can. All right? So what I did was I laid it on here, and then I take one on each side. And then another thing, I'm going to give you another tip. You can actually... I done done this... The uh, first time that I did it, I came up with my own remedy of cooking my own ham. The first time I did it, I took my a pan. I took a, like a clear uh, pan like this. Hold on. Let me show you guys. I have my uh, Ziploc bags thing in there. So what I did was I took a clear one of these. I laid all of, all of my pineapples in there. 
I pulled the sugar and then I glazed them with the brown sugar and then I put cinnamon on top and then I glazed it again with brown sugar. So, and then another thing that you can do, you don't have to glaze it right away with the brown sugar. I'm going to show you all another way that you can do it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stick this one here. And you want to stick it where it's tender. Because some places in the ham, you know, it's not cooked already. It's, it's very tough. So, you can feel your way around it uh, by sticking the toothpicks in there. And so, another thing that I did, I got my measuring cups. And I got a clear bowl. I'm going to help you all out. Because it's a lot of people that never cooked hams before. And this is a, um, what's the name of it? Hold on just a minute. I'm going to give you all the name of the ham that I have. Okay, family. So it's this is a Smithfield ham. See it right here? It's a Smithfield ham. And it's a uh, half a, like a whole ham, but it's cut in half. So it got a bone in the middle. Those are the best ones. And then also, um, they are very juicy. That's what I like about them. And you all, I went and got some. Let me tell you something. You have to pay for what you want. If you want good quality, you got to pay for good quality. I seen some turkey bags that they had in one of these stores where I live. And it was pretty, like, marked down, child. That bag was so thin, to if you do like this, it'll rip the pieces. <laughs> I say, I paid for what I got. I had to go to Winn-Dixie, and because it's Christmas Eve, a lot of stores was closed. I went to Winn-Dixie, and I found my good thick, this is the quality, good quality um, turkey bag. Yeah, so you can cook them in the turkey bags. That's the bag that I have. I'm going to show you all the box. Hold on just one moment. All right, family. So this is the bags that you can purchase, the oven bags that you can purchase. And it's the turkey size. And I tell y'all, my grandma actually... Um, been cooking with these ever since we was little and i tell you it it actually steamed your meat your turkey your ham um your pork roast my grandma always used these to actually cook her holiday meat in or even if she was cooking you know on a sunday uh sunday meals and things like that so these are the best bags that you can actually purchase to cook your hams and turkeys in so don't forget that family. All right. So the next thing, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take. Since that I haven't did my um. This is a homemade glaze that I'm doing. So what I'm doing is next I'm gonna take my pineapple juice. And let me take this out of here because I want to measure in a cup of uh, sugar. Probably like one fourth. I'll do like this one right here. One fourth of brown sugar because I already glazed it. You can see the glaze. If you see that brown right there, that kind of like sugary brown, it's already on some of the pineapples and some of the, um, well, all over the ham because I already had based some of um, the pineapples to put on the ham already because I already started y'all but I didn't want you all to miss out on making this brown sugar juicy ham for your family all right so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna pour out pour all of the juice from out of this can inside this bowl all right you want you you need all of it not some because you want to make sure that you glaze your turkey very good and you want to take let's sit this here you want to take you some brown sugar brown cinnamon and i'm gonna put like 
you know what? I'll show you all the easy way because some people don't know how to measure out certain things. So take your cap that go on top of your brown cinnamon. So I'm going to actually fold this up in the capsule. All right. Well, not fill it up. Do it halfway because you don't need a whole lot. Just do it halfway like this. And then you want to take it and pour it inside. Hold on, let me put the top back on here because I, I don't want to, you know, make this fall. So you want to take the capsule of the cinnamon, dump it in there, just sprinkle it in there. And then you want to take your one-fourth of brown sugar. So I'm giving you all a tip because a lot of people, you will be surprised that don't know how to cook their, um, their, um, hams for the holiday or either turkeys. I'm going to have to show you all too how, I, I don't know if I put my turkey on there from last year. So you might can find, um, I think I did if I'm not mistaken. You can go and watch one of my videos too from where I cook certain meals also. So you want to take this one fourth cup. Uh oh, I'll get it. One fourth cup of brown sugar. Sorry about the rattling because you hear these right here. It's like three of them. It's four connected. So you want to take it and pour it in here. Just pour all of it in there. All right. And then you want to make sure you store it, stir it all the way around. And it's going to make you, uh-oh, I'm moving too fast. It's going to make you like a sweet glaze, all right? And you want to stir it very good. All right, family? And it's going to turn brown. And you can... Mmm, you can smell it. Y'all see that? I should have got a smaller spoon, but it's okay. You want to take it and make sure you stir your cinnamon in there very good. All right. And then you're going to take all of this. And that's why you see me actually already have, when I tell y'all, it's more easier for me. Um, I would say I actually prep my um ham inside the bag so when i'm finished putting everything on there only thing that i have to do is just tie it up put the little um zip lock um tie on there and place it in the oven and then i have my smoke this is a smoke um pan where you can cook your ham or turkey in it or you can even cook a smoke roast so yeah, family, so you may see a little cinnamon that it's not chopped. It's not chopped all the way, but it's okay. It's going to melt. It's going to melt, family. So just making your own glaze, just like how they have it in the bag. A lot of times, my grandma showed me how to make your own glaze to go on top of your um, ham. All right, so you at least want to stir it for like a good five minutes to so that everything can, you know, be mixed in it. So the next thing you want to do, you want to make sure that you already have your ham inside the bag, okay? And it's okay if you see the sugar on the outs, um, from the inside, it done got on the bag, it's okay. It's going in the oven, it's going to cook, going to be so juicy, family. But the reason why I really made this video because my baby sister, she actually um, needed help with learning how to really cook her ham. So that's why I was actually making this video. And I know that some of you all probably watching like, I never made a ham because I don't know how to. Now you know, cause your girl giving you some tips. 
it's different ways that you can cook a ham and it comes out so juicy falling off the bone that's how i like to cook mine all right so the next thing you want to do is pour it on top all right and then it's gonna work its way all the way down okay all right family You're gonna pour it all on there, all right? So, yeah. And then, the next thing you wanna do, y'all see that? Still look juicy. Still look juicy. And if you wanna put a little bit more, however much you wanna put on there, however you like it, you put a little bit more. But I think this is fine because I already had them prepped it with um you know my own specialty all right so the next thing i want to do is take it and i want to close it up real good so what i want to do is my grandma showed me this you take it and you twist it all right and you want to twist it in like this but you got to be careful. You don't want to twist it too tight and rip your bag. All right? Y'all, I got them good old collard greens on too. Oh, my God. All right? So, the next thing I want to do. Let me get my tie. The little Ziploc. Okay. So... Y'all see, I probably got food and stuff because I'm, I've been in the kitchen cooking for a couple of hours now. Um, I learned to cook at night, y'all. I love to cook at night during the holiday times because to me, it's relaxing and you cook at night, you ain't got nobody bothering you, you know? So, I want to take my Ziploc tie and I want to stick it in. It's going to be like this, but you want to stick the other end part in like that. And then the little notches, it's like little levels. You can put it how tight you want it. All right? So, and then I want to pull it however tight that I want it. Okay? But I want it to be on there where... It'll smoke real good. Okay. So now I have it on there. All right. And you just let it lay like that. And then guess what? You know the little notches that's on the um on the toothpicks, the end part? I'm gonna show you another key. Take it and you can push it through. And it's gonna seep a little bitty hole in there where your bag won't get too big and it don't breathe because it got to breathe a little bit. You want a little smoke coming through it so your bag won't swell up so big and tight so sometimes it'll burst and then you got to dry turkey. So that's a good key. All right, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm taking, and you don't want to do it with all of the, the toothpicks that's in there. You just spread it out, do certain ones, all right? Because I don't want too, too much of the steam to come out. I want to keep much steam in there as possible. So I give you all the key. Stick The ones that's up in the top, the little toothpicks that's sticking out, I would take those and just push it through. Just pop it uh, through, and it's going to bring that steam, some of the steam out so your bag won't, you know, because once that heat gets to it, it's going to swell up. So that's another key. All right, family. And then a lot of times I would do the same thing with see, uh, pushing the, the toothpicks through so it won't swell up too big and then it'll burst and then I have a dry turk, dry ham. So I let it cook for a couple of hours. I let mine cook. Some people say, well, I don't let my um ham, y'all excuse me because it felt like, you know you know how you feel hot or whatever but um a lot of people 
they don't like for their ham to fall off the bone. I like for mine to fall off the bone because it be so tender and juicy. So I'm going to let this slow cook at least, I would say about, I would say about three hours, three to four hours. Um, because I like my ham tender. You can cook it however long that you want to cook it. But um, I would say at least give it about three hours or three and a half hours to make sure. But um, I try to like give it an extra 30 minutes because you know it has to pre preheat. Um, your oven, you will always turn that on. I'm sorry y'all, I'm getting this stupid because I don't want it to be burning when I put my um, ham in there. And these nails ain't making it no better. All right, I think I got it. But I let mine slow cook and I'm gonna let mine slow cook and what I do, cause you don't want to dry out your ham before I go to bed, I turn it off, take my ham out because I don't want that leftover heat that's sitting in the um, oven to dry out my ham. So you always take your ham out. Some people just turn off the stove and let the ham stay in there. You're going to have a dry ham, take it out. So if you want to reheat it in the morning, you can do that, but don't allow it to sit in there and that heat just making it real dry so take it out all right so the next thing i'm gonna show you all i have this this is like a rack that comes with my um my pan my roaster pan and i use that because sometimes i want to flip my ham because i don't want all of the juice to drain down in my my ham be dry so what i do is i let it cook like this for a while sideways and then i flip it on its back okay i flip it on its back like that because this is the butt part right there and this is the top part okay so that's another key turn your ham so all of the juice will not stay in the, uh, so the juice can stay inside the ham, all right? So I'm gonna turn it to the side first. And then I'm gonna let it cook for at least about two hours like that. And then before it's finished, get ready to finish that other hour, hour and a half, I flip it on its back so all of that juice can seep down in the middle of my ham. All right, y'all. So I know it's a lot. I just want to come on here and show you guys how that I um, prep my ham. So it's Christmas Eve night, and I'm gonna show you all some other things, so stay tuned what I'm doing in here also. All right, family, I love you all. I just didn't wanna let you all be left out on the ones that just started how to cook, all right? So I love y'all, y'all stay tuned. All right, family, so I'm gonna let you all just take a sneak peek of me cooking these good old collard greens with some smoked neck bones, not neck bones, I'm sorry, some smoked turkey neck. Y'all, when I tell y'all, it's smelling so good in this house with this aroma. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna let you all see how this look. Y'all see the, the um, steam on this pot? Oh my gosh, let me open it. I'm gonna let you all see how it looks. Oh my God, y'all, look at this. Looks so, so delicious. I'm letting you all actually see how these smoked turkey necks is cooking. Y'all hear the sizzling? Oh my God, smells so, so good. And I have a special recipe that I put in, it makes it like, oh my God, like you slurp on your, your these greens, y'all. So I just want to give y'all a clip of I'm cooking some, slow cooking some good old homemade collard greens, y'all.
the rest of the year. 